Good morning, ESM. I'm Todd. And I'm Avery. And if you didn't know already, Expo will be making its debut tomorrow uh, after a hiatus due to COVID after two years. Expo will be featuring pre-K to 12th grade student displays and demonstrations from every school in the district. The total lunar eclipse is coming soon, which means that the full flower moon of May 2022 will be turned to a reddish-orange blood moon for about 90 minutes. Although people all across the U.S. will have an opportunity to see the upcoming lunar eclipse, though the timing isn't ideal, you'll have to stay awake late Sunday night, May 15th, to catch a glimpse of the moon as soon as it turns dark with a reddish-orange tint. In the Syracuse area, the lunar eclipse is scheduled to begin at 9.32 p.m. Sunday and reaches maximum at 12.11 a.m. Monday 16th. Monday, May 16th. Last Sunday, Tennessee, Tennessee couple Julie and Jimmy Johnson woke up to find a friendly dog in their bed. Much to their surprise, they soon realized the dog did not belong to them. The couple owns three dogs, so it's not unusual for them to wake up with a dog in their bed. Nothing seemed off when they woke up, but they soon realized it was not, the dog was not their own. After posting pictures to Facebook, Julie learned the dog's name is Nala and she lived about two miles away. The family has kept in touch with Nala since discovering her in their bedroom and they met, up, they met back up with a, her for a puppy play at 8 Tuesday. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Attention all graduating Senior National Honor Society members. Orders are now being taken for our graduation stoles. Please see Moose or Classroom for in any information. Deadline to order is Friday, May 20th. Are you hungry? Well, you're in luck. Tomorrow morning, Spartan Pride is hosting breakfast pizza in the large cafeteria. Come down early and grab a slice. If you are interested in running for student or class council, then please pick up an information packet in the library near the circulation desk or in the large cafeteria on the desk under the projector screen. You can also request an information packet digitally by sending an email to Mr. Hart at rhart at esmschools.org. Packets are due by May 26th. Any questions? Please reach out to Mr. Hart. The skateboarding community needs your help here at ESM and skaters around Minoa and East Syracuse are on a mission to sign a petition that builds a skate park for the public youth. The community is hoping for about 500 signatures to raise awareness in the public village office to, uh, ooh, to at least take it into consideration. Uh, if you'd like to help out, you can scan the QR code on screen now to help. There will be a mandatory informational meeting for everyone interested in trying out for boys JV or varsity volleyball on Tuesday, May 17th in room D8 beginning promptly at 3.30 p.m. Please see Coach Ripzak with any questions. Gee, it really feels like a Monday today. I know. Ooh. Gosh, I can't keep track of the days anymore. It's nope. going so fast. Crazy. So for tonight, um, here at Expo, or tomorrow night, excuse me, here at Expo, the large gym is where you'll find student artwork, including photography, ceramics, drawing, digital art, and more. For dinner, the Culinary Arts Department will be selling homemade pulled pork sandwiches. Pulled pork, mashed potatoes, sundaes, and chicken tenders will be sides in this small cafeteria. The Carpentry Mobile Care Unit being built for veterans will be on display. You can also see the 1961 Ford F100 being restored by auto tech students and get a raffle, tick to pop, a raffle ticket excuse me, to possibly win it. If you're in the mood for entertainment, the auditorium will be featuring <laughs> fine arts performance by students. The 5E Jazz Band will perform at 5.30. Pine Grove Select Choir at 6. The combined Pine Grove Select and Central High School Chamber Choir at 6.30. The Central High School Chamber Choir at 7. And the Spartan Sound Machine will perform at 7.30. The Ceramics Department will have students throwing pottery throughout the night as well, right outside the large gym. And Expo will be held from 5 to 8.30. Let's find out how the weather will be. Uh, to So, today we'll, we will have a high of 85 and a low of 56. Now, 
we don't really care about today because we want to know what the expo is like and it will be relatively the same with clear skies with only a little bit colder but the low is not going to be as low so it's going to be a very very good day and warm day for the expo moving on to saturday and sunday it's a bit colder by two degrees but it's really nothing with a high of 81 and a low of 82. now next week it's going to start to get colder again right after we just got that may weather so expect to be a little more chilly next week but it's not going to be too bad with that and grayson with the weather we were lucky enough to get an interview with the head of the art department here at the high school I'm the chair of the art department at ESM High School. Um, so students have started uh, to set up for Expo on Friday. Um, a lot of our seniors have started to strip their boards and set everything up. Um, and I think it's, it is a really important thing to have in person because it brings in the community. Expo is one of the events that like everybody comes to, parents, kids, K through 12. And we get to celebrate a lot of the culture in our building that we don't traditionally have the opportunity to celebrate within sporting events or um, some of the concerts and other things that we get to do. So um, it's really, really good to have it back. And I know the kids are excited. So I hope everybody comes out. The boys tennis team lost to Auburn yesterday in a close match 4-3. The girls track team beat Central Square and Auburn. Kwakwani won the 100 hurdles being undefeated this whole season. Avani McDuffie won the 100 meter dash. The Andrew Relay team won including Elena Vespi, Lilia Pena, Adriana Pena and Taylor Hoffman. Raina Butchko won the high jump, Margaret Matting won the triple jump and Amber Hayes won the 400 hurdles. The boys track team also beat Central Square and Auburn. Rocky L won all four of his events, the 100 meter dash, 110 hurdles, triple jump, and the 100 relay with teammates Amari Withers, Daniel Tovar, and Aiden Hurt. Dan Tovar also won the 200, Amari Withers also won the long jump, and Joe Podroso Garcia won the 400 hurdles, and Spartan News' own Ryan Sullivan won the high jump. Proud of you, kid. Unified basketball plays at Corland at 4.30. The boys tennis team has a match at home against Corland at 4.30. The South softball team plays Oswego at 5. Boys lacrosse plays at Central Square at 5.30. And girls lacrosse plays at home against Central Square at 6.45 for their senior night. Go out and support the seniors. And I'm Luke with your sports. See you here at the high school on Friday night for Expo. Yeah, I know. I'm excited. You have a whole expedition, don't you, Avery? I do. Yeah, yeah that's it's my crazy. senior show. Wow. All right. Well, from Avery and I and everyone here at the morning show, have a great Tuesday. Thursday. Whoa, what? <laughs>